Hey there, it's Daniel Johnson Jr. with another update for National Podcast Post Month. It is Tuesday, November 23rd, 2009. And, you know, as you know, I've been doing this podcast series over here. I get that job online.com all month long. And uh, really appreciate you checking this out, uh, this podcast series, where I'm basically just practicing uh, sample answers, uh, answers to sample uh, job interview questions. Some of them are the more common ones that may come up in a job interview, and some of the ones are a little bit more tricky. As we found uh, last week when I did a uh, series on uh, behavioral interview questions, I have a lot more coming up here uh, toward the end of the month. And uh, right now, uh, as, uh, as with yesterday, I'm going to answer a question that I was rephrased from Amber Raslin, Amber Cadabra on, twi- on Twitter. Um, I'll put a link to her blog post over in the show notes over at getthatjobonline.com. And by the way, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave them on, on the blog post uh, with this uh, particular with this particular um, um, video, or you can uh, do a reply video over at YouTube, or just share a lot of these things. I just really appreciate the, the comments and feedback that I've gotten from every one of you so far. It's been fantastic. So today again, it is um, it is uh, November twenty third, the twenty third month of National Podcast Post Month, and of course uh, Amber's. Blog post was talking about some uh, examples of job descriptions related to social media and some of the verbiage that's in there. And so what I've done is I've taken uh, what, something that she's posted as something, you know from one of the job descriptions and I've moved that into like if, uh, how a potential interview may interviewer might may ask that question. So question is, how have you been able to take larger strategy and insights? and translate into them into ideas and executable plans in the social media space. So it talks talk a little bit more about social media strategy and execution. So, <laughs> kind of a hard question to ask, but it, you really have to kind of look back for myself at some of my own personal projects. Okay, for example, this blog that you're watching this on is I Get That Job. Uh, it's a blog that I started back in 2002 and have really, um, you know, just trying to grow the audience through uh, a lot of various blog posts and, of course, the, you know, infrequent posting as, you know, time has been where I've been employed and, you know, obviously more frequent when I've been unemployed. But, um, you, you know, the idea behind this is, is really to kind of grow an audience around uh, people who are interested in uh, job search and also just understanding what job search is like in the 21st century. So, uh, you know, hence the series about the for National Podcast Post Month. You know, this is one of the ways. And then I'm also sharing these videos uh, over on uh, Facebook and on Twitter um, accordingly. I think another example of how I've been able to take strategy and, and, and move it into execution involves the New Media Cincinnati Social Media Group I've talked about in this series. I run a uh, social media networking group called New Media Cincinnati. And this group um, has, made, has met together monthly, um, obviously except for uh, 2000. Um, Seven, eight, and, uh, and now here in 2009, on, in December we haven't met. But the idea behind it is to uh, sh- share news and updates about what's going on in the social media community, and um, meet together and provide a, um, a venue and a, and a place for people to who are interested in them meeting together uh, in person. And so there's a lot of communication that's happened online and in person. You know, through a blog post, through uh, some podcasts, through some Twitter updates and Facebook uh, group updates. So can we do better? Obviously, there's always things that we can do better, and we're still learning. I'm still learning how to do all of this. But those are some examples of how I've been able to take some of my strategy and move it into execution. Um, so <laughs> that's kind of my stand on how I answer this question. Now, is that a good, do a good job? I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and take another listen to uh, and, and watch this and maybe uh, tweak it if it does come up in a job interview. But, you know, here, that's kind of how I, how, how I go. So, um, again, for now, this is Daniel Johnson, Jr. If you do want to get in touch with me, you can send me an email to daniel at getthatjobonline.com or you can leave a blog post uh, comment. Or if you uh, just want to get in touch with me, you can also do, use the contact page over there at getthatjobonline.com. So, for now, and until tomorrow, um, this is Daniel Johnson, Jr. coming to you from beautiful Cincinnati, Ohio, saying make a great day. did that one without using the timer. I hope I didn't talk too much. Otherwise, the timer release will come and get me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean?